Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been several days, maybe even a couple weeks since I last vlogged, but today is moving day. We are moving everything out of our old house and into our storage unit. So we are still on the hunt for our home, but we're moving everything out so we can at least have save on that rent money for the next few months that we would have been paying. So we're doing that this morning. It is, let's see, 8.02. So I'm about to take a quick shower and then my brother will be here around 8.30 to go get the U-Haul and then we'll just get started. So I figured I would vlog for the next few days because I've got some errands to run and just missed picking up the camera and felt like doing that. So if you can hear the fan, it's just the bathroom fan in here. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower, get ready, and I will probably see you guys at the house. Okay, that was chaotic. That was fun. Thankfully, Andy is very calm in stressful situations because I took forever to get the U-Haul, like the place was closed at the last minute for some reason, like I guess somebody called out and we couldn't get it. So we had to call a bunch of numbers to figure it out and it was just very chaotic and I kind of shut down in situations like that. So but we got it, my brother's driving it and we're gonna get some food really quick to bring to the house and then we're gonna start loading everything up. Um, we were just talking about how like, this is not very exciting. Lackluster. Yeah, because we're literally just like moving all of our stuff into a storage unit. So it's not like, it's not very fun. It's more exciting when you're moving into a house and like you get to unpack everything and see all your stuff. But we are not there right now, unfortunately. So I'm it's really... nice when you can close the chapter and then open another one up. But we yeah. already have opened it. Yeah. But we were talking this morning about how it's just important to stay positive and keep the positive vibes flowing otherwise we will never find what we're looking for so yeah that's kind of where we're at but i think i don't know if you can see the u-haul behind us <laughs> let me get in the, the mirror you can see brother jake back there in the u-haul all right guys let's be careful so anyway we're gonna get some food and go to the house my family is starting to get to the house so trickling they're in. already there they're trickling in and hopefully today might be the last day we have to be in there at all um, otherwise I might go back Wednesday and do a little bit of cleaning but I'm hoping I can kind of do that today so we shall see but yeah we will check in with you guys in a little bit thank you thank you take care just finished loading everything up in the u-haul and we're driving to our storage unit now we uh, are. how long do you think that took uh that took a about an hour and a half two hours but two hour endeavor yeah i guess you're right like two hours yeah that's not that bad i think everybody's probably pretty tired though but i think putting it in the storage unit won't be probably as bad yeah because we had to we had to pack well assuming everything fits yeah it won't be that bad we're very grateful for all the help and honestly when uh, when you're in times of trial like this you have a tribe that all comes to help out it's very uh it's very nice it is it's we have nice. people that like my poor brother he's helped us every single time and he doesn't complain yeah and he drives the u-haul too which yeah. is like a real task in itself but we've got our caravan of cars following behind for the record i did drive the u-haul once and i crashed it 
exactly. That's why you don't drive it now. But anyway, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if your dad watched this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so we're going to the storage unit, gonna unpack, and then we're just gonna chill the rest of the day. And for the out. record, the baby is being watched by your mom, so the baby is not involved in this. Yeah, Lila is spending time with her second cousins and my mom. Look at so, that my hair going on. And I think we're gonna just get like pizza and food for everybody later for helping. So Cast Asian pizza. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Back to the music. You just need a good car sit and cry because that's just part of being a mom I think. <laughs> uh, I feel good that we just got some errands done. There's a few more things I needed to get done but like I forgot to bring my dog's prescription to take and then I forgot to get some stuff that I need to return to UPS so that is going to be tomorrow's problem um I think I'm going to go inside and unload like the things I got from Target and definitely need to feed baby girl and then I think we'll go on a walk and I think it might be nice to take her on a walk in our old neighborhood slash the neighborhood we want to buy a house in um because that just seems like it would be really nice and be peaceful and i remember just so many days walking in that neighborhood and listening to podcasts and just enjoying the sunshine and it's going to be really nice today so i think we're going to go do that later um i will probably just go in unpack everything feed her see how she's feeling if she's awake and happy we might play for a little bit and just let her like look around she loves to just look around the room stare at the fan that sort of thing is kind of like her little playtime routine for a few minutes and then maybe hop back in the car and go for a walk so yeah but I'm not sure how much is already in this video but Today is the day after we just moved everything into the storage unit, and I didn't expect that to be so, like, mentally exhausting, but it was just a really weird feeling to see all of my stuff, like, all of our stuff in one place, and it not be, like, our home, you know? It's just in this giant storage facility, um, so it's just kind of a weird feeling, and I'm also like, gosh, we have so much stuff 
like, I don't know. It made me want to be a minimalist for a second. Um, but yeah, we're hanging in there. Um, I'm still waiting to get my first like monthly visitor, um, since having a baby. So today it's eight weeks postpartum and I'm still waiting for that to happen. So I feel like that's part of the reason I'm a little bit more emotional than usual, but mm, you know, you know how it is. If you're a woman, you feel me. So anyway, I'm going to go inside and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we just bought a house. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen, and okay. this is very exciting. Your house. Yeah. What? <laughs> Thank you. 